Hello, my name's Michael Keneally, and this brief video is about the solar eclipse on the 6th of January here in Ireland, or the 5th of January in the United States. <coughs> and we're filming from the beautiful west of Ireland, where my wife Maggie Pashley and I have a healing centre on the Sligo coast of the Atlantic. Um, so this eclipse occurs here on the 6th of January and there's a blog to go with this video which gives a lot more detail and so the blog starts by showing where on the face of the earth the eclipse will be visible there's a map of that so the eclipse is at 21 degrees Vedic Sagittarius in Purvashada Nakshatra and at 15 degrees Capricorn in Western astrology using the tropical zodiac so, I'm not going to go into the full detail that's in the blog, but the first thing I want to talk about, well, yeah, the first thing I think I should mention is that this eclipse is the start of the massive saturn k 2 pluto conjunction in Vedic Sagittarius, in Purvashada Nakshatra. And I've uh, filmed a sec separate video with its blog about the great, that great conjunction. Uh, so that will be coming out within a few days. Look out for it. So that's the first thing to say. It's the start of a really massive energy affecting all of us, but particularly people in with major planets in Vedic Sagittarius and Vedic Gemini opposite. So what is the nature of an eclipse? Well, basically an eclipse undams dammed up energy. So it's like an earthquake. An earthquake is created when there is tension in the Earth's crust that grows and grows and grows until it's too much and there's an earthquake. And of course, if it's under the surface of the sea, it's a tsunami. So that's the sort of thing an eclipse is. So people ask, well, is an eclipse good or bad? Well, this is very definite. It depends how on course you are for your spiritual purpose and your life purpose or if you're off course because if you're off course the divine effect of an eclipse is often just to smash what shouldn't be in your life anymore and that can be seen as a disaster but in fact it isn't because it gives you the chance to develop spiritual perception what is the true nature of the battlefield to be the spiritual warrior? But if you're on course, then an eclipse on one of your planets can beautifully bring that planet's potential and energies to fullness. Uh, I'm very happy to do eclipse readings. There's two eclipses in January, obviously. And my readings website is starwheelastrology.com. So having said that, uh, how do you sort of assess astrologically uh, what area of life an eclipse will have its big effect? So basically, if it's on one of your planets, you need to look at the area of life that that planet is an indicator or character for. And there's a simple list in the blog accompanying this video and it's one of the things you learn in my Master Vedic Astrology Foundation course. The nature of the planets, their divine nature and how we experience them through filters of sign, house and aspects. And what do they represent? So putting it simply, Sun represents our soul, our confidence, our power, our ego and our Father. Um, and there's brief, good little brief meanings in the attached blog. So they're called the natural characters or the natural indicators of the planets. And so if an eclipse, well, happens on your sun, I mean, generally that can mean either golden reaping or, you know, downfall, personal or professional. Um, but in addition, there's what's called chara characters. Um, and the most important of those is the atma character, your soul indicator. 
and if the eclipse falls on your Atma Karika, well basically it, it offers to put you on course for your spiritual purpose. Atma Karika means soul indicator. But if you're off course, you can feel almost like going suicidal because your whole life seems to be falling apart. But the whole point is it had developed to a point where sadly it should not and will not continue like that. Um, okay, the next thing, and this is also in the attached blog, you look at the house the eclipse falls in. Now, an eclipse in the first house is obviously major because it's about self and how we uh, project in the world. Now, what about the notorious eighth house? So the eighth house is you know, death and downfall negatively, it has a fearsome reputation. Sex, death, the occult, the hidden side of life, destruction, regeneration. But you, and it can indeed, an activation of the eighth house by malefic transit, or of course an eclipse, can bring a health collapse, or, or indeed death in the circle, or personal death. But basically it's, it's, its higher meaning is like the shamanic sense of death and rebirth. A great occult inspiration can be offered us by an eighth house uh, transit, for example, Mars going through your eighth, it depends on the sign, or an eclipse in the eighth. Um, and the last thing I want to mention is that the eclipse occurs in Purva Bada Nakshatra. Now, I'm not going to go into detail on Purva Bada Nakshatra in this video for two reasons. Because I've also I'm also doing a video on the Mars K2 Pluto conjunction that grows out of this eclipse. So look at the video and blog for the Mars K2 Pluto conjunction. So all these videos will be coming out in early January. Or and or go online where I have a video about each nakshatra with an accompanying blog. And if you really want to learn about nakshatras, I have in addition to my Vedic Astrology Foundation course, um, a Nakshatras course, a wonderful, truly wonderful, immense course, you know, offering such immense inspiration. So, um, I hope these a useful guidance towards the nature of the 6th of January eclipse. Look at the blog take the inquiries further in the other directions I've mentioned. Hope to hear from you. Thank you.